The Learfield Directors' Cup, the highly recognized mark of distinction in college athletics across all divisions, both men's and women's sports. Follow your favorite team's pursuit for excellence in this prestigious annual award through thedirectorscup.com, USA Today, or at L Directors Cup on Twitter or Facebook. Learfield Directors Cup, the crowning achievement in college athletics since 1993. Now it's time for the Mike Norvell TV show presented by AutoZone. From parts to helpful advice, AutoZone has everything you need to get in the zone. AutoZone. The show is supported by the Tennessee Lottery, Subway, and Chick-fil-A. Welcome in, everybody. So thanks for joining us uh, tonight. You know, they say there's nothing like speed when it comes to a team sport. And the Tigers sure had that on Friday night. Almost 11 yards every time they touched the football. They were so quick to the ball on defense. And Georgia State goes by the wayside 2-1 and one on the year. And congratulations to you in a little bit more than two years and some change, 20 wins. Well, no, I was really proud of our football team. You know, we talked about needing to have a great response. And uh, I, I can tell you, everybody on our team was excited that we had the short week to be able to get back at home there in the Liberty Bowl and uh, from start to finish. I thought our guys had a dominant performance. And you, like you mentioned, the speed really showed up. And our, our kids played fast. And one kid in particular, you'll see it, and that is Daryl Henderson. He's starting to look like D'Angelo, D'Angelo Williams 2.0. Back to back 200 yard games, first time since D'Angelo has done that, and I believe that's his ninth game in the last two years of 100 yards or more. Yeah, you know, uh, obviously Daryl's had, had a great game. He's had a great you know, past couple games. And, uh, you know, his explosiveness and what he brings, to, uh, he brings to our football team is impressive. And I think he'd be the first one to credit the big guys up front, the O-line, the tight ends, uh, what they're able to do. And then, you know, obviously uh, you'll be able to have that balance. It's forcing, you know, forcing opponents to be able to play two safeties and, uh, you know, helping him in those one-on-one matchups that he's got to uh, gotta defeat when he's out on the field. Well, and back to the theme of speed, honestly, you think about it. It's not just Henderson. There's Pollard and there's game. Well, we saw that now, and of course, Patrick Taylor can outrun everybody. It's really a fun thing to watch, that is for sure. Here's what's coming up on the Mike Norbell Show. Plenty of offensive highlights. In fact, Kevin Barbie, our shooter, well, he had, he had to condense play sometimes just to get them all in. It was a lot of fun. The Chick-fil-A Inside Access, also about fun. You're going to take a look at the turnover robe, and then the AutoZone Road Ahead is back home again next week uh, against South Alabama, but we'll enjoy this game with Georgia State in just a minute. You're watching the Mike Norvell TV show. Short week because it's a Friday game, and this comes after Navy, and I don't think it should be lost on everybody. That's a hard game to come back from because of the physicality, and then you have one less day to really get it going. Yeah, you know, it took it took everybody's focus. You know, we obviously our guys, we wanted to respond. Uh, you had started on Monday morning, 6:45, is when we had our first meeting, and we had to cram mm -hmm. a lot of a lot of work into a short week. But uh, our kids took took made the most of uh, the opportunity. Had. And uh, and then for the very first time, I think in the history of the school. Look at that look. All grays. I got a feeling since we won, we'll see that again. Yeah, there's a good chance we'll see that one again. But, uh, you know, it was a throwback, uh, you know, a tribute to the Memphis State days. So, uh, you know, we had the throwback uh, you know, logo on the side of the helmet. Uh, I thought our guys looked great. You know, starting off here, uh, you know, a three and out by our defense, getting a big, uh, you know, getting a big quarterback sack there on third down. Uh, you know, then being able to get started. It was great to see number one back on the field. Uh, Tony was uh, you know, full speed last night for really the first time. Uh, you had some explosive plays. Uh, you know, they stopped us on the third down, but uh, you know, we, we, we wanted to be aggressive. We went with the fake, uh, uh, the fake punt, direct snap to Jonathan Wilson, and that sets up uh, you know, a great, uh, you know, great run here by Daryl Henderson. You know, wonderful blocking down the field by, by our receivers and the O-line. I'm really impressed there. And then uh, here was just a wonderful play. Brady to uh, Tony Pollard. Uh, getting Tony in the end zone, wonderful catch in the back corner. Uh, really, really pleased to see those guys make that early connection. How about the accuracy on the run on that throw? Yeah, you know I thought Brett, uh, Brady played really well. You know, obviously he wanted to he wanted to respond uh, from uh, you know you know not the best second half uh, you know a week prior, but he came out you know clicking on all cylinders. Uh, we were able to spread the field. I thought our guys once again defense comes out, gets a quick stop, get the ball back uh, to our offense. Big third down conversion here to uh, Joey on on a little option route. 
Uh, you'll just really like the tempo which we were playing with. We're able to spread the ball all, all over the field. Another big third down conversion there. Brady, you know, throwing into a tight window to Coxie, uh, who had a big, big run there after the fact. Uh, you know, the balance is what showed up, and that that allowed to uh, be able to. You know, once we forced them to bring the, the safeties into the box, uh, probably one of the best throws of uh, Brady's sh mm. short career. Uh, you know, here's a Tiger you know, to Coxie in the back corner of the end zone. It's very impressive. Coxie, 123 yards and two touchdowns on six incredible receptions, and back to work you go with Tony. Yeah, you know, we talked a lot about, uh, you know, Georgia State wanting to stack the box, and that was something that we were able to soften up a little bit on the perimeter. Uh, great, uh, you know, angle flow uh, uh, run there by uh, Daryl Henderson. Uh, got, got to his one-on-one -on -one with the safety, made a miss, and then uh, all speed to the end zone. You know, he's talked about just feeling stronger because he gained 10 or 15 pounds. And when you look at this, you know he didn't slow down. That's that's almost impossible to do. Yeah, you know, uh, you know, obviously he's got great speed, but uh, you see the way that he's defeating the one-on-ones with the safeties. You know, running through them, running by them. Uh, you know, it's extremely tough for the first man to, to bring him down. Uh, I love seeing the, the great the receivers, the great jerseys in the back. Uh, down the field blocking. Uh, here's a, you know Antonio Gibson's first touchdown as a Tiger. Mm -hmm. You know he's really coming along. I think he's got, he's got a great future with us. Um, but uh, I was excited to see him. Uh, you make that big play. And the and the uh, the beauty also is all the different weapons that you used. And there's Tito Windham in the one turnover in the game for the Tigers that gets him that role. No question. It was great to see Tito, obviously, uh, with the big with the big interception there. We forced the forced quarterback to scramble, and Tito was in the right spot and made a wonderful catch there uh, you know, over by the sideline for our first takeaway. All different ways to do it. There's Pop Williams coming around. There's another guy with speed. No question. And you know, I thought Pop did a lot of great things. You know, he had a couple big pop punt returns. Uh, but then here, what a throw and catch with uh, Coxie. Uh, uh, to, you know, Brady, Brady put the ball only where he could put it. And uh, you know, Coxie made a great catch. Uh, really liked that. And then this was big, right before half. Uh, you know, Bryce Huff with another quarterback sack. You know, we took a time out there, had about a minute minute to go there uh, uh, to be able to drive the field. Uh, I thought our guys executed a two-minute drive really well. You know, you, you, we just saw Bryce Huff. You are so deep at that position, too, with uh, Jackson Dillon, and then here's more speed. Yeah, you know, I thought uh, Brady Brady did a great job identifying the coverage, hit Coxie down the, uh, uh, down the sideline, got us down into field goal range, um, and then, you know, obviously Ryder, Ryder, Riley Patterson able to finish it up, uh, giving us uh, you know, more points going into halftime. Well, and this is, this is great balance, too. You see the turnover, look at the rushing yards, look at the passing yards, and... Again, I, you know, I thought your defense set the tone. The first two series, Georgia State was minus one yard. Yeah, so that, and, they were in a battle. And that's been something that's been impressive with the way our defense has played. They played relentless. And, you know, starting off games, I mean, they're coming out, they're putting their pads on people. Uh, you limit them to, to short possessions, which allows the offense to really get rolling. 38-10 at the break. The second half comes your way in just a minute. watching the Mike Norvell TV show. Got a four touchdown lead at the break. I know you say finish the game. Anything you talk technically uh, about game plan here? You know, we wanted to be, make sure we were still on the attack. Uh, we knew we wanted to run the football, be able to establish some drives, uh, but also, you know, it, defensively not to let up. Everybody had to communicate, do their job, and go and really uh, you know, force ourselves to finish in, in the fashion we, we knew was uh, necessary. And I don't think you went quite as deep as you did in the Mercer game with your bench, but you did get other guys in, and uh, right off the bat, Tigers are making things happen. That's Patrick Taylor. He he wants the ball too. Uh, that, that's a great thing. Is you know the balance we have with our backs. You see Patrick on the screen play, and then coming back with the with the perimeter run. Uh, you know our guys are able to keep themselves fresh. You know back with Tony Pollard. You know what I love about this play? You see Daryl Henderson. All the all yeah. the all the accolades about what he's doing, running the football, still doing the dirty work. Here it is on the third down once again. Daryl Henderson now catching the ball out of the backfield. A big third down conversion, and that, that's what that's what makes me proud uh, to see our guys doing the little. Things, even when they don't have the ball in their hands. What an effort by Machine Slade there, you know, catching the ball, giving a little spin move, still protecting the football as he gets the ball in the end zone. Uh, really proud of that young man and how he's developing as well. And another different guy who scored, and look at the edge there. You're not turning the corner on the Tigers. Uh, I mean, Austin Hall with a great, great physicality. That's what I like to see. I like to see our guys not only are, are we playing relentless, we're playing tough. Uh, you know, there's a, they gave up third down conversion. You know, one of the things we, you know, you, everybody's got to continue to grow. Uh, I thought the only negative that, that we really had, uh, you know, their defense, we had some missed tackles by, uh, you know, lowering our eyes a little bit. We've got to keep our eyes up. 
um, you know, obviously getting up there and making sure that we're sustaining, you know, sustaining all contact, uh, you know, getting guys down. We have the opportunity to, uh, you know, and uh, you got to give credit to Georgia State. They executed, they executed there in a couple situations. Uh, how about how about this play by JJ Russell, linebacker covering the best, yeah. their best receiver, 30 yards down the field. It was impressive, an impressive play there. And then, you know, you know, our defense really tightening up here. Uh, you know, you see JJ showing up again there on the screen play. Uh, you know, just really proud of the effort that our guys, you know, put into it. Uh, you know, this is one of those plays I was talking about. You get an opportunity on third down. Uh, we missed the tackle, kind of lowered the eyes a little bit, allowed them to extend a drive. And you know, that's one of the things we're going to have to correct here moving forward. You know, we get these opportunities. You know, can't allow them to, to, to have the penalties. You know, we got hmm. called there, which was a very, I wonder about very, that one, Coach. very, very close call. Um, you know, we get called, uh, you know, for another uh, you know, penalty down here in the end zone, but our guys never stop playing. They continue to work, and uh, you know, even though we, we uh, you know, you know, George State, uh, you know, finished in the end zone, uh, you know, they had to put together a lot of plays to be able to, to get to that to happen. But you know, coming back offensively, another third down, big third down conversion. Uh, Machine Slade with a great catch on the sideline, wonderful ball location, able to tap the toe before he goes out of bounds. Um, and then, you know, we pushing the ball down the field, just like to put a little bit more on that, yeah. uh, um, you know, a little quicker in, in, in seeing that. But, uh, you know, uh, we had a penalty on this drive that kind of put us into a longer yardage situation. Uh, so we weren't able to convert there. Um, you know, that was one thing that, you know, offensively we've got to clean up some of the penalties. Uh, but I, I know our guys are going to work hard to do that. And then the defense will go to work. And they do a pretty good job here of, of really not allowing this team to get back in the game. And it was, uh, you know, our, our guys had to respond. They had to battle. Um, you know, this was a big play. Uh, you know, great check uh, there by Brady uh, to the to the stretch uh, to the stretch play. And then obviously when you get to, you know, you get Daryl through that first scene, you know, he was able to get to that second level, and uh, there's nobody catching him when he gets there. Well, the, the amazing thing is the distance between defenders and. And Henderson just keeps growing when he takes off. Uh, no question. And I love, I love watching our defense play. You know, they're John Wilson with a big play, and uh, you know, obviously able to, uh, to, to 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 get another TFL. And, and to, last night, one of the things that, that wasn't talked about as much is, but it was the two block kicks. One PAT. Uh, you know, obviously one there on the field goal attempt by John Tate, getting both of them. Uh, here we get some of our younger guys in. You know, you know Kenny Gainwell. I know I've been bragging about him all camp and the you know, early part of the season. But this young man is going to be special. I, I love his work ethic. I love what he does, and great to see him finish off with a big touchdown run. Well, that's the same thing too. Look at the guy had the angle, still couldn't catch him. Terrific stuff. The numbers you're going to love. You look at that. 410 rushing yards. That's the most in a single game since the 70s. Well, it's you know you obviously want to be able to establish a run. I thought some of the big explosive runs uh, help with that. You know, still you look Brady had a really nice night. You know, 269 yards passing, five touchdowns. Once again, key key factor, no interceptions. No picks. Uh, doing a great job. You know, there Coxy with a big game, over 100 yards. Uh, you know, we're seeing our team you know, grow and respond. That was something that was important. You know, came up a little short a couple weeks ago, but we responded, and uh, we've got to continue to push, uh, continue to get better, and uh, you'll get ready for this week. I'd say that one's. I can't even remember who we played. It's forgotten now. <laughs> Back in a minute, Inside Access. You'll love this road. You're watching the Mike Norvell TV Show. Today's Chick-fil-A Inside Access is all about fun, or you could say the Ric Flair for the dramatic. Here's the snap, and he's going to throw right side. Sideline 20 10 5 touchdown TJ Carter. Like two days before the game, um, Coach Norvell and Coach Ball uh, introduced introduced it to us, so we were fired up about it. And we we're just trying to find ways to motivate them, you know. And uh, I think uh, somebody had brought up, let's get a championship robe and along with the belt. And uh, so we went out and had somebody design it and, and make it. And I didn't try it on. I looked at it. Um, we actually let Jackson Dillon try it on first, and uh, he did a great imitation of Nature Boy, Ric Flair. So uh, he got to try it on first. Uh, I did see it. Mark did a great job designing it. You know, it was Mark's idea with the feathers on the side. That's probably like the best in the country, or the most unique in the country, but I think it's pretty cool. So, um, heck yeah, I'm trying to get that any chance I can get. I can't wait to put it on. Um, I watched wrestling growing up, so Ric Flair, you know, I can't wait to put it on, that's all I can say. 
No, I think it's so important to, to, to celebrate the things that are important to your program. And, uh, you know, obviously you, we want to get takeaways on defense. We've had the takeaway belt for the last couple of yeah. years, but now we'll be able to add the robe. And uh, it's definitely fun seeing those guys uh, put that thing over their, over, their, over their pads. Two ways just to have a whole lot of fun. We'll need those things to be out. When South Alabama comes to town, that's the AutoZone Road ahead. Watching the Mike Norvell TV show. After the second week in a row, the AutoZone Road Ahead lands us at the Liberty Bowl. And for the second week in a row, it'll be a first time opponent, the Jaguars of South Alabama. And Steve Campbell, their coach, is a guy that came from your alma mater. He's not the greatest receiver in their history like you are, I know that. But he's, a, he's really a heck of a coach, huh? He is, and I've got to know Coach Campbell over the years and uh, utmost respect for how he runs a program. They're in their first year, uh, you know, last night uh, they had their his first victory there at oh. South Alabama, and the comeback win, uh, you can see the, the way that his team plays. You know, they've got a great culture there that he's establishing. Uh, we know it's a football team that is, is buying into what they're trying to do. They're gonna be multiple on offense, multiple on defense, will attack. It's going to be, a, it's going to be a, a, a matchup that we've got to come out there and play our best game and uh, you obviously continue to build off of what we did this past week and put ourselves in the best position to be successful. So two weeks in a row, you, you're, you're facing a team you've never really seen before. Obviously, you're going to get taped, but how, how much harder is that to prepare for something you really don't know that much about? Well, I mean, it, it continues to emphasize the focus on yourself. And you know, we've got to make sure that every, every day at practice that we're improving individually but collectively as a group. I thought we grew. You know, we did, you know, we, for 59 minutes of that game the other night, we did not turn the ball over. We did a great job of owning the ball. Mm -hmm. uh, you obviously want to create more takeaways, but if we, we've got to have a great week of practice of being the best version of ourselves, and that will help us be that when we show up at the Liberty Bowl there at 7 o'clock uh, come Saturday. There was one injury in the game. I know fans want to know how Leandre Thomas is. He hurt, I think it was the left shoulder. Is he okay? Yeah, Dre's going to be fine. You know, it was just a, you kind of a little stinger there in the game, and uh, you know we, we fully expect that he should be able to bounce back from that quick. Um, and uh, but just like it, just like in this game of football, next man up. I thought Josh and uh, uh, Tyrez did a wonderful job at safety there filling in. Uh, well, you're, you're, you've been blessed to have at least some depth at that position and rotating those guys around. Last thing, Brady White, nice bounce back from the Navy game. You mentioned five touchdowns, no picks. I think fans now understand just how accurate this guy is. He, he really is. A wonderful decision maker right now. He's, I think he's at 71% completion rate uh, for the season. Uh, he's making good decisions, putting our guys in, in the right spots. And so we've got to continue to build there because we know that uh, that's going to be necessary here moving forward. And literally, you know, this is a cliche, but it's true. He's like a coach on the field. He guy beats sometimes you guys to the film room in the morning. Yeah, no, he, he, it, it means something to him, and he wants to be great. Uh, your team, they respect that about him, and that's a, it's a great, great uh, uh, rally when you know that those guys support that quarterback and he puts in the work. Can't wait for Saturday night at the Liberty Bowl. We'll see you there, and then we'll see you right back here next Sunday night. Have a great week, everybody. Thanks for watching the Mike Norvell TV show presented by AutoZone. From parts to helpful advice, AutoZone has everything you need to get in the zone. AutoZone, the show is supported by the Tennessee Lottery, Subway, and Chick-fil-A. The Learfield Director's Cup, the highly recognized mark of distinction in college athletics across all divisions, both men's and women's sports. Follow your favorite team's pursuit for excellence in this prestigious annual award through thedirectorscup.com, USA Today, or at L Directors Cup on Twitter or Facebook. Learfield Directors Cup, the crowning achievement in college athletics since 1993.